Hi, this is Rich with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at the 3D Connection Space Pilot Pro. I'm going to be using this in conjunction with SketchUp 2013. And this is uh, a crash course in uh, the fact that we're probably going to be crashing through some walls here. I just uh, took delivery on this device and have no clue what I'm doing. But uh, if you check back in the next uh, few weeks, uh, I plan on uh, getting up to speed on it and uh, testing its uh, functionality with uh, SketchUp. Until then, you can uh, check out some of our other tutorials on uh, workshopaddict.com or here on our YouTube channel. All right, first of all, the, uh, the main thing that uh, we're going to take a look at is, uh, is the device. As you can see, there's a display on the top. You can uh, show several different things on that uh, on that display, including email, calendar, picture viewer. But for the most part, I think I'll use uh, function keys. This uh, gives you an indication of uh, what the uh, uh, what the device buttons are programmed for. You can do that with the software, which I'll show you. Uh, in a little bit, but these uh, buttons here, the ones that are on the display now or for the buttons over here on the left, we have five buttons, one of them being in the center. The ones that are listed in blue are if you would press and hold. So uh, I currently have a number one program for line tool, so if I click that I have line and if I press and hold I get arc. I can do the same thing on this side, these buttons over here, which are for the most part set up for zooms, um, you know, I can program those as uh, as well. That's probably the mode that that I'll leave it in most of the time. Although, if I'm doing full screen CAD work, it would be nice to uh, pull up Outlook, and if I'm waiting for an email, I can uh, uh, I can take a look there without uh, jumping over to my uh, Outlook uh, application. The uh, device does have uh, shift, escape, control, alt on here. There is a menu which uh, uh, pops a uh, menu up on the screen and you can see we've got speed which can also be adjusted by bumping these up and down. Object mode, camera mode, target camera mode, helicopter mode. There's a few settings here and basically these control how you orbit around your uh, model. I'm still in the process of trying to find out which uh, mode is going to work best for my drawing style. I mean one of them will actually rotate the uh, the model or, or your object within the model around you like taking a cube and uh, rotating that around and then uh, the other ones lean towards uh, kind of moving around that cube um, I'm still trying to uh, get all that figured out and that'll be one of the first steps that I need to do before I really get serious about about uh, uh, doing any uh, any type of uh, programming on the uh, unit. So the the main part of this uh, device as with all other 3D connection devices is this uh, knob here. It has six degrees of freedom and if you pull up on the knob it pans up and if you push down it pans down same uh, with left right the knob also rotates and you can also uh, tip it let's get up off the floor here a little bit and we can you know tip down and tip tip back so the thing that I really like about this is how fluid it is. This is uh, some as-built drawings I'm doing on a house that I built. Matter of fact, it's my house uh, that I built about three years ago. I did it in AutoCAD 2D and I'm currently redrawing it in uh, SketchUp uh, 3D. But it, uh, as you can see, it's pretty fluid. You know, and uh, I like the fact that you can easily move up and down you know, and rotate around here. You notice this house is half done. It's got a little bit of drywall 
here and there and it's got a little tile here and there and a little carpet here and there that's basically to uh, get my uh, elevation set there's a chunk of carpet in by my uh, railing in the uh, foyer but uh, we'll come over here and we're gonna drop down just takes a really light uh, really light touch but it is nice that you know if I wanted to go down to the basement it's just straight down and back up there's first floor and going up in the foyer it uh, actually does work quite nice although uh, it, it's going to take a uh, take a while to get used to the uh, buttons can be programmed let's back up to the first page first of all you can control in this uh, little applet here the uh, the speed of the device which we can bump up and down directly on the uh, space pilot pro but uh, this is where uh, you would set up the uh, different knob functions. You can you can uh, lock some of these out or reverse them, which instead of zooming in by pushing forward and zooming out by pulling back, you can do the opposite. Button configuration. All of these buttons are programmable. As I mentioned, some of them are dual function. If you press and hold, they do something else. So uh, number one and number six is an example. If I just click the number one button, which is right here, I would get the line tool. And if I would press and hold that same button, I would get the uh, arc tool. So this is where the uh, programming is done. This is specific to uh, whatever application you're in. If you're in Google Earth, it's, you have it set up to do uh, one thing. Uh, any application, notice it says SketchUp Rich here. So these are my uh, custom program buttons. These would be the uh, uh, the default SketchUp. But uh, these are how I'm starting to program those. But I think I'm going to practice navigating a little bit and find the feel of the buttons before I decide what I'm going to program. These are those uh, different axes on the on the knob as I mentioned you can lock those out if you want to lock out your ability to roll which may be a good idea and a lot of type of drawings you can do that you can also instead of uh, instead of uh, reversing all axis you can do that but you can also go in and individually reverse the uh, different axis on this knob left to right I can reverse that you know pan up down I can also control the speed of each one of these uh, spin I think that's one thing I may end up turning up it doesn't seem to move quick enough to suit me but uh, I think I'm really gonna have to uh, get used to it first this brings up a LCD manager which is this display up here on the on the top and you can turn on different programs what you want to show in it I would assume they've they've got developer support that you know someday we're gonna see some really cool applications for this maybe they're out and I haven't found them yet but uh, so you've got uh, you know different different settings uh, within uh, within this uh, little LCD application here under tools we also have uh, enable LEDs which turns that light off around the around the knob there and turn it back on and uh, we'll go ahead and close that but uh, it's just gonna take a little uh, little getting used to you know I can move out here fairly easy and we'll go ahead and do a rotate around which is what I turn the speed up on and uh, come back here through the shop go out the back door and spin around there so check back in a few weeks and uh, 
we'll have uh, all the kinks worked out of this thing and hopefully be uh, using it uh, full time. SketchUp has a pretty good navigation system with the uh, center scroll wheel and uh, I like that a lot but uh, this will allow me to navigate and draw at the same time and hopefully make uh, things uh, more efficient. So as I'd mentioned earlier, uh, until then uh, check out our tutorials on uh, www.workshopaddict.com. This is Rich. Have a great day.